Hey YouTube, um, I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, some deep cycle batteries that I just picked up. Um, just wanted to show you here, um, it's kind of a cloudy day. I only have the 140 watt solar panel hooked up right there right now. It's uh, a mono crystalline. It's kind of, you can see the sun's going in and out of the clouds. Um, so there we're getting one amp, between one and one and a half amps out of the uh, panel. And you can see the light is charging and there's a load on it. Uh, right now I have this 75 watt inverter plugged in just running a light down here so I can show you the batteries. Um, this here is the old battery. Um, it says it's 140 amp hours. Um, it's just an RV battery that I was using temporarily, um, but I've changed them. I've gone to two 6 volt deep cycle golf cart batteries. These are the Interstate Extreme. Um, like I said, they're 6 volts, so I've wired them up into 12 volt setup. Um, you'll have to excuse my mess, the wire's on here right now. Um, these ones here are rated for, I don't know if you can read that, 232 amp hours, deep cycle. <clears throat> they have these nice quick caps on them so I can check the levels. And uh, they seem to be pretty good. Um, they hold a lot of power, um, so I don't think there's going to be a shortage. So this will run my, my water pump uh, for my rain barrels. and. Uh, whatever electrical needs I'll, ha I'll, I'll have out in the shed here. Um, I've got one of these MotorMaster inverters, 600 watts, so I can hook that up to the batteries and run my power tools or whatever I need to do. I can charge up my uh, cordless lawnmower and so forth. So just wanted to give you a look at these batteries that I got. They're uh, pretty rugged. And uh, you can see here, oh, there comes the sun now. We got just over two amps, two and a half amps charging the batteries. My battery voltage right now, this is temporary, I have this thing sitting here, 13.08, so I will unplug the load. We're still getting two and a half amps, and you can see the battery voltage is climbing pretty good for just a 40 watt panel. 13.3, Right here, 13.40, there we go. It's charging pretty good. 13.50, so it's climbing pretty good for one 40 watt mono crystalline panel. There you can see, I think, there the battery's full, so it's uh, diversion, I guess you call it. Because the batteries have just topped off, the light went green, 13.8. And it'll just hold it there. So that's pretty good. There you can see I've now got a green light for batteries are full. I'll grab my uh, inverter, plug it back in, and plug that 30 watt halogen bulb back in. Lights on. And my light went from green to red or orange. And we're back up to putting just over two amps into the battery which is pretty good. There, I'll unplug it again. Climbs right back up. So I'd say that panel is pretty good for the small panel that it is. It's uh, charging quite well. There, back to green light. So we'll let that just sit there and float those batteries and uh, hopefully these work good for me this summer. Thanks for watching.